There's a new vaccine now called Godisol. It's, a, it's something about a cancer-preventing vaccine. Uh, first of all, you recommend it, and uh, can you tell me a little bit about the vaccine? Gardasil is a vaccine that just came out within the past few months, and it's uh, for the virus that's called human papillomavirus. It turns out that 99.9% .9 or more of cases of cervical cancer are due to human papillomavirus, and it also turns out that if you check teenagers or young adults who are sexually active, somewhere above 30% at any time will actually have a type of human papillomavirus. There are many human papillomaviruses that, uh, that most of the cases of cervical cancer are due to types 16 and 18. Uh, human papillomavirus can also cause what's called cervical warts or vaginal warts, and those are due to type 611. So the new vaccine, Gardasil, is a vaccine that prevents people from getting human papilloma virus types 6, 11, 16, and 18. Therefore, those who get it, and it's a three-dose series, those who get it should be, should be not at risk for cervical cancer, except the rare cases due to other types of human papilloma virus, and also not be able to get, in the future, not be able to get any kind of, of uh, vaginal or cervical warts. At but, this but, but, the vi but to give the vaccine, we have to make sure they're not sexually mm -hmm. active first. Is that true? No, definitely not true. The, the, the vaccine is, at this point in time, is recommended for ages 9 to 26. It can be given to those who are sexually active, and it can be given to those who are not yet sexually active. As a matter of fact, it can be given to somebody who already has one of the human papillomavirus types. So let's say a person has actually had human papillomavirus type 16, they could still receive that vaccine to prevent them from getting types 6, 11, and 18. The studies that have been done show that there is no negative effect of receiving human papillomavirus if a person has had previous type of human papillomavirus, and in fact you're still preventing the other kinds. So at this point in time, they're focusing on the pediatricians in terms of learning about this new virus. The, the company that put it out, which is Merck, is focusing on the pediatricians for the younger adolescents, most of whom are not yet sexually active, and they're actually focusing on the gynecologists for the older adolescent and young adult, many of whom or most of whom have been sexually active. The idea is that if everybody ultimately, and so far it's only for females, they're not giving it to males, it's not at all approved for males, but if, but if all the females of the age group of 9 to 26 get the human papillomavirus vaccine or Gardasil, then we have the potential to wipe out cervical cancer in, uh, in the next few years.